Was it in here or was it mostly in your hands? Mostly in, in your legs. In mostly my legs. Carol Grant Hunter is at the University of Kansas Hospital for a photophoresis treatment. I notice when I haven't done it for a while, and then I start getting more lethargic, and you feel more energized after you've done it. Carol has graft versus host disease, a complication that can happen following a stem cell or bone marrow transplant. For Carol, photophoresis helps boost her immune system so her body can adjust to the new stem cells donated by her sister. For me, it's, it's kind of like going in and getting a, a gentle massage on the inside. Next door, Randall Goodman is also here for photophoresis, but it's to treat a different condition. Randall has skin cancer. Photophoresis makes him feel more comfortable on the outside. Sometimes you'll get lesions that get inflamed and, and they'll turn into sores and plaques and all kinds of, of things like that. So, so what this does is it reverses that, it treats the symptoms so that you don't have the lesions and you, and you don't have the inflammation, you don't have the sores. Two different health care needs met using one therapy. In the simplest of terms, Dr. Sunil Abiyankar says it's like a tanning bed treatment for white blood cells. The word photo is a, is a combination of two words, photo and pharesis. Photo means light, obviously. Pharesis means the cells are separated out from the blood. So in this particular treatment, we are exposing the white blood cells in the blood to ultraviolet light. Once the cells are exposed to the UV light, they are returned to the body, ready to go to work. Carol and Randall say the process is painless, except for the needle stick. And, and the people here are very, very good with the needle, so, so that's, that's n no, you know, no cause for concern. One session of photophoresis can take up to four hours. Patients read, sleep, eat, watch TV or work on their computer. Patients have photophoresis sometimes twice a week for several months, even years. The goal is to slowly wean them off. Patients say there's no downside or side effects to the treatment. In fact, patients on photophoresis can often reduce some of the other drugs they're taking. This treatment has been used uh, more than a million times for the last uh, 15 years, um, and uh, it's very safe. Oh, our patients love us. <laughs> They, uh, they come in, they enjoy it. We get to know them very well. They get to know us very well. So they're almost like family. The University of Kansas Hospital is the third largest photophoresis treatment center in the nation and the biggest, most comprehensive center in the region. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Bob Hallinan.